Well, today on Nation, a window cleaning podcast, we're talking all about services you can add on to window cleaning to get a higher ticket, offer more to your customer, increase that average, and even more. So stay tuned to WCR Nation. What's up, everybody? Jersey here from windowcleaner.com, and you are here. What's up? Nice to meet you. I'm Jersey, sales rep with windowcleaner.com, window cleaning resource. Um, If it's your first time here, have a look around. Hopefully you dig it. Hopefully it's better than a cat video. Uh, If it's not your first time here and you're like a return cool kid, well, what's up? You guys are absolutely awesome and you're the reason this show gets to continue. So thank you very, very much for always uh, tuning in and watching. And uh, shameless plug of the day, if you have any type of needs for sales, you need equipment, coming through springtime, all that fun stuff, let me know. 862-312-2026. And uh, that's the old sticker there. The new sticker that we still have some of is somewhere over there. Anyway, let me know that you want a Cool Kids sticker, and I will give you a limited edition Cool Kids sticker that you can put on all your stuff. And if you like stickers which uh, obviously I do. Building the wall, I still got all this area here, but it's all from American Window Cleaner Magazine. Uh, Every single issue comes with a free sticker sheet and a lot of absolutely amazing stuff in the magazine. So if you haven't gotten your subscription, shameless plug number two, and I know a lot of you have, but I know a lot of you have not, go to 8wcmag.com. AWC, American Window Cleaner Magazine. AWC mag.com get your subscription because why not and if you're watching in canada we have a canadian subscription now so go do that you can even join the sticker club and get just stickers if you're like i don't know how to read and i don't want to look at pictures Uh, so go do that Uh, do all that stuff shameless plug is over Uh, but if you are still here we're talking about adding on services to window cleaning and i'm not really talking about like adding on pressure washing, um, roof cleaning, all that fun stuff, which, by the way, super valuable, right? Uh, If you are doing window cleaning, you should be pressure washing. If you're pressure washing, you should be window cleaning. They pair up so absolutely beautifully together. But there are services and things that you can do in the world of window cleaning, just window cleaning, that you can add on increased tickets. There's something to kind of think about in window cleaning. There's a lot of parts to a window, right? A window is a loose term, right? A lot of people, when they do counts, it's per pane. Pane is one piece of glass. But a window can be, you know, obviously a casement window, crank out style, double hung, French, fixed, transom. Like they could be different types, right? But in a typical window that you open, there's always going to be a screen. There's always going to be a sill. There's always going to be the frame, the glass, the all that, right? So there's a lot of parts to the window itself, which is corny, I know, but hear me out. There's a lot of things that you can do to kind of increase what you offer without getting out of your wheelhouse. I know uh, one kind of decently big problem people kind of have, uh, not everybody, but sometimes, is that they want to do everything. I remember, um, golly, this is probably, yeah, I just said golly, but this is probably 20 years ago maybe. My uncle had started a company. He started a business. And um, a bunch of things that he did was like dog poop removal. He did lawn care. He did window cleaning. He did plowing. He did like everything just to see kind of what stuck. And that was a good way to get into it. He found out that he wanted to go the lawn care route. But on the whole end of the side is if you do too many things, you're not really a pro at any of them, right? A jack of all trades is a master of none. So you don't want to go too far out of your wheelhouse. That's why I always say, stay in your wheelhouse. Stick to the services and that core. I did fleet cleaning for a long time. You, a lot of you, if you listen to the show, you know that. Uh, that is pressure washing semis and trucks and things like that. We had a whole division that did that. I eventually stopped that because it was just too far out of our wheelhouse. I want to be able to advertise and get people interested in a thing, window cleaning. And then from there, they're interested to see other things because they pair right next to each other. I can't be like, ah, we do window cleaning. People come and they're like, ah, yeah, I'm actually looking for you to wash my semis. 
right? They're just, it's a little too far out. So don't get too far from your core. Know your core, obviously. But again, pairing certain things really, really works. And one thing that a lot of people do but don't think about as an add-on is screen cleaning. Screen cleaning is something that kind of figure screens themselves are almost filters for the windows, right? You always have a screen keeping the bugs out. So anytime the windows open, the screen is what catches all the crud. Now, a lot of times people may put that into the window cleaning, but understand that it is its own service. It can be its own service, right? Think about this. I have uh, an average pain price, right, of $750 for inside and outside. That ends up being about uh, about right. Maybe you're different. Per pane on a residential is $750 for inside and outside on one pane of glass. You can do 3 or $4, and I know guys that are doing more, girls that are doing more, but you can do that on a screen. A screen being one pane of screen right both sides you could absolutely charge that on a screen and screens are absolutely easy they're fast yes i'm a sales rep obviously i'm going to talk about a little bit about equipment but screen cleaner itself i know is kind of like an interesting it's an interesting idea until you get one, but they're absolutely amazing. Doesn't mean you have to have one to clean screens. You can clean them just with regular uh, equipment. But adding a screen into it, if you're not adding it into the actual price, you could add three or four bucks for every screen to clean. And it gives people more of an in-depth clean, more options, more things, and it is absolutely tethered to what you do. Now, on a side note of the screen cleaner, uh, it 100% will sell you a ton of work and it justifies a higher price when you pull out a, a, a machine if you will you've seen it it's not really a machine but people kind of consider it a machine but you pull that out put it in someone's driveway you're using that people stop and they're like what is that you do that people can clean yeah absolutely screens are filters for your house we want to make sure that they're nice and clean right screen cleaning is 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 super super important to add on now think about this in the scheme of a window if you can, for one window, offer packages, and we've talked about packages, they're absolutely amazing. Uh, but if you can add services, some people may just want the glass, but some people may want the frames, tracks, sills, screen, all that done, you're increasing that ticket. You're giving them more options, and then they get to choose. I had somebody one time tell me that uh, it's an incomplete job if you don't do the screen. Okay. Cool, like again, it's your business. I'm just some dummy that has a computer and a uh, cheesy backdrop, I guess. But uh, uh, truly, if you think that you need to do the screens in every window and that's your full service complete, that's awesome. But I would also tend to think that having the option to be able to add it on to be more in depth is good. I've had a lot of people who say, no, I don't want the screens done. But if you're adding the screens in and it is part of the price, your per window or per pane or per whatever price is going to be a lot higher. Right? We're adding the value and option because when I get to the job, go, okay, great. Uh, now, I didn't see on here that you had screens to be cleaned. Uh, do you have, uh, would you like your screens cleaned also? It adds this much, blah, blah, blah. And then everything's done, right? Screen cleaning is really, really a good add-on. Uh, a lot of people don't consider it as an actual add-on. It's kind of more like a side thing. But if you're offering it to every customer and say you don't clean screens all the time now, only if they ask you, but you can increase that by 50%, that's a lot of money added on. Screen cleaning is pretty rad. Check out the screen cleaner too. Not On a side, absolute side note, uh, I know I always tell you, let me put your orders and blah, 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 blah. But... Look at the screen cleaner. It's Look at people who use the screen cleaner over anything else because it doesn't make sense until you get one. But anyway, screens are a really, really nice kind of add-on. Um, another part to this that you can add on that people kind of sidestep a bit, uh, or at least there's a little bit of general confusion across the industry, is hard water. Hard water itself is... Let me start, start 
that over. With hard water, when you get into water fed, yes, your water is either hard or soft, but hard water is mineral stains that are on the glass. So what I'm talking about is the actual hard water stains on the glass. You clean a window, you get all done, and there's a bunch of white spots, right? That is hard water, meaning that there's minerals on the glass that have uh, basically cooked on there, and they're not coming off with any type of uh, just general cleaning, right? Hard water usually happens on the first uh, first floor of a uh, commercial property, house, anything. It's a lot of times from sprinklers, uh, splashback if they got rocks, uh, any type of minerals that are getting back on the glass. And by the way, look at this next time you see hard water. Almost always, it's two main things. It's either sprinklers, which means you can see like an arch of uh, hard water, or it's splashed back from the rocks. If, if it's a commercial property or even a house and they have rocks instead of mulch, the water hits that, splashes, and when it splashes, it's actually got some minerals from the rocks in. That's what gets on the glass. But the restoration of hard water is a great add-on because I will give people the option, but I won't clean it automatically. And a lot of new people, and maybe you're not even new, but yet you don't know how to kind of handle this. This is how I say it. So if I clean a house, and after they're all done, we find hard water on a few of the windows. I always will go to the customer, and we always do a uh, pre-talk and a post-talk. And we just kind of explain everything, put it all out there. And in my post-talk, when it's all done, we collect the check and all that fun stuff. I always say, hey, everything turned out awesome. Uh, your windows look great. Uh, there was some hard water on the front of your windows. Looks like little white spots. That is minerals that are uh, stuck kind of on the glass. We do restoration on that also. Uh, uh, pricing starts about $20 a pane. So if it gets too annoying, you're looking at it and it's bugging you, let us know. We can come over and acid wash those windows for you. That's how I word it. So basically what I've done is I've said, hey, here's something you're going to see. Here's what it is. Because a lot of times when you do it, people go, oh, they look like crap. There's all these white spots. You, you left white spots. You, you didn't squeegee it or you left dirt on the... All the things that they think that they know what it is because you didn't tell them what it actually is. Right? So I always would tell them what it is. It's hard water. Right? And then I will always tell them how I can fix it. We do hard water removal. I'll always give them a price, at least a starting price. I don't need to bid the whole thing. Uh, here's a price, blah, 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 blah. And then I kind of end it and the end of the thing. And I say, hey, um, you look through the glass. My job is to look at the glass. And people go, oh, yeah, I won't even notice the windows look great. I said, well, if you do notice it, let me know. So what I've done is I've told them, because here's the thing. And we've talked about this before, but if someone complains or writes a negative review or does whatever, the reason they do that is because their expectations weren't met. So they expected their windows to be absolutely clear, right? You're cleaning it. But we know there's hard water. I have talked to people who do hard water removal. If they see it, they take it off. Again, that's up to you. I don't like that because it's such an intensive, can be such an intensive thing. Um, if you're just taking a, you know, bronze pad, steel wool, uh, walnut, whatever, and just kind of buffing off the real light stuff, that's different. That's pretty easy you could do that and uh be happy but the stuff that i'm talking about is the actual restoration stuff right i've told them what it is so now their ex expectation is to see that when they see it they go oh this is what he was talking about oh this is what he was talking about right they will always be happier when your expectations are met than when they're not and if i tell them to expect to see hard water when they see it they're happy because they see it. But I've already told them, hey, you know, if this is such a problem, here's how you correct it. I can do that for you, but it's going to be X amount. I can do that for you, but it takes this, right? But hard water removal, I'm telling you right now, the easiest thing you can absolutely do is if it's an exterior of a house, you use one restore. Again, use it right. You can't put it on a hot window. You have to flash it, hose the window, the glass down so it's a little bit cool. Uh, use the one restore. It's an acid wash. Put it in a pump up sprayer, spray it on, let it sit, keep it wet, spray it a couple times. If you need to let it sit for maybe 30 seconds, hose it off 
and you're usually good to go. It's ridiculously easy. But it's also not a thing that um, a lot of people uh, do automatically, right? It's just not something that you would normally because it can be intensive. If you got a commercial property, you may have to do um, a few coats of uh, one restore to get it all off. And I say commercial because they're going to run usually like a pyritic glass or some kind of reflective glass. And they always will water their landscape, right? And they also want low maintenance. So they usually have rocks or rock facade or something. So you see it a lot more in commercial than residential, but it's both there, right? Same thing with uh, some screen burns and stuff you can actually take off with one restore. But hard water removal, it's another service to add so that when they leave with you, they have all the options they can and it's not out of your wheelhouse. It's not too far-fetched, right? On the same side of hard water removal, and I won't really get into this one because it does take more equipment and kind of more knowledge, is scratch removal. Scratch removal... You can use a glass renew system to remove scratches and hard water, but you have to learn the system. So that's why when we stick to hard water, I go chemical just is a little bit easier. You can toast some glass with one restore. Uh, 550 is even worse. Um, I mean, if you do it wrong and you let it dry, you can burn the glass and uh, not good. But for the most part, if it's done right, it, it does uh, really, really well. Anyway, going back into the screening world, is rescreening. You already are cleaning the screens and you're already doing the window. So as you're going through the whole thing, I always see screens that need repair, right? Oh, these ones are getting real thin, right? Not, uh, fiberglass screening starts to kind of deteriorate, but there's also ones that sit in the sun and they just like turn into like silk almost and rot away, right? Fiberglass does not do well in um, sun. Right. And after time, people, you know, the screens change color and they're just not good. If they're metal screens, I always, always, always turn them over to uh, a different type of screen. Maybe you're doing solar screening in your area. Uh, solar screening is like really thick meshed, uh, helps sun, keep the sun off the windows too. Uh, but screening and rescreening is a really nice add-on also. Now, you can do this kind of how you want, but I wouldn't do it on site. I always bring them back to our office, if you have an office, if you have like a shop space. But we would always bring them back. Our screening prices started at 30 bucks. We would take them, repair them, return them, and uh, reinstall them. Those were what you get for that. And a lot of times, we did whole houses where people are like, yeah, you know what? I just want it to get nice and refreshed. Like it would look amazing. Do the whole house. Like screens last a long time. So this is a, a good investment, right? But if something's ripped or if you rip it, you have then the capabilities to fix it. But remember, you, your whole wheelhouse is that, that window, the whole set, which is screen, glass, frames, that whole thing. So why not offer something that people may need, right? Why not offer that? I really like screening. I mean, the, the, actual doing the screening was uh it's so simple but yet so it upsets me sometimes <laughs> if you do rescreening you know but you'll like rescreen stuff you're like oh man this is great and then you'll pick it up and the frame will be like twisted it'll be too tight or like too baggy or too something but screening table man i had a dope screening table that i set up myself it had uh, borders on the side i could build screens rescreen respline big rolls, uh, bulk supplies, and at $30 a screen, the materials are next to nothing, especially when you're buying in bulk. But the screening is so cheap that you're making, you know, $28 you know, <laughs> of the 30 as profit. So profit's really great. And then also when you have screens, what I did is because I was out of the truck, I didn't I wasn't out in the field. I don't know how your situation is. Maybe you have, uh, you're in the field, but you're off at a certain time. But I really like the option to have a bunch of screens. We labeled all the screens so we knew where they were, whose they were. But as they would come in at night or later in the day before the trucks came back, I would go in and just screen everything we had. Sit there with some music, vibe, put it all on, rescreen, and make a good, you know, I mean, 10 screens is 300 bucks. You know, I mean, uh, a typical house, say you got 20 windows, you got 20 screens. It could be $600 in screening, potentially. 
not always do people do the whole house, of course. But it always added a nice little chunk. And then they would drop the screens off when they were back in that area. So it didn't cost too much. Rescreening, putting it back on, super, super easy. Right? But it's another service to offer. And it also covers you in case you rip a screen. If you already do it, know what to do. And one of your guys or you or somebody somehow rip a screen, you set it down, it gets on a bush or a stick. Well, now you can fix it. Right? So rescreening. Think about rescreening. Um, another thing that I really, really like, and again, take this with a grain of salt, uh, but this time of year, uh, we sell more water fed systems than the entire year. Like, uh, you know, any, any other month getting into spring is when we sell the most of them because people look at it and go, okay, I'm changing my efficiencies. I am, uh, improving my speed. I'm getting more done. I'm working easier. I'm trying to stay off ladders. Whatever the, the, the reason to get into water fed is, people start to really, really push into water fed this time of year. And I personally have been using water fed for like 14 years. Long, long time. Uh, even longer than I've worked here at windowcleaner.com. Right? But when I talk about it, people go, well, yeah, you're a salesman. So again, we're just listening. We're just talking. Understand I sell these systems, uh, but understand that that's not why I'm talking about them. Okay, cool. By the way, I don't. I shouldn't even have to put the like disclaimers on, but I do because I, I don't want to pull wool over anybody's eyes and think that there's some kind of hidden message in any of this stuff. I mean, there is when it comes to getting a subscription to American Window <laughs> or letting me put your orders in. That shameless plug. I tell you that right up front. Okay. Anyway, so water fed itself is absolutely incredible. If you're not using Waterfed, think about getting into Waterfed. So this is what Waterfed does. If you are doing a two-story house, two-story commercial property, two-story whatever, I will be able to do that job twice as fast as you with traditional ladder pull, all that. Now, on the other side of the fight of people, uh, I've never met somebody who officially and truly doesn't like water fed i've met people who have used their buddy's system and it didn't work or i've heard lots of people who say oh, it doesn't work though i get lots of work from you you guys keep doing your water fed i'll keep getting a bunch of work that was that's somebody using the thing wrong like that's the same thing with saying yeah squeegees don't work man this guy tried to do it it looked terrible he used the squeegee wrong in, in water fed, that's what you see. If you ever see anything and you're like, man, I'm torn. People say stuff bad. The idea is if I hand somebody who's never cleaned a window a squeegee, right? They're kind of doing their thing and they're starting in the middle of the glass and they get done in it. And they're like, oh my gosh, this looks awful. I'm just not good at this. And you're like, yeah, you just, you got to practice a little, learn how to do it and you could be good too. With water fed, when somebody does something, they go, oh, this doesn't look good. People go, oh yeah, it doesn't work. Because they don't understand it, right? But anyway, so water fed itself will speed up everything you do. It'll keep you off ladders a lot more. But the big thing for me is efficiency is always awesome. I mean, I want to be faster. I want my guys to be faster because that makes more money. I could do more work if I need to. But the big thing is that it reduces the fatigue. I don't have to move ladders. I don't have to try to climb on a roof. The biggest part for me, especially when I have to go out there and do work, is that if there's a dormer window, or especially here in North Carolina, in, in the part of town that I'm in, all the new houses, they have these like pitched roofs, which are like the biggest, steepest roofs. They're just ridiculous. It's just absurd. I don't get it. But they'll throw a window up there, right? They'll, they'll tuck a window back, especially on these bigger properties, because they have so many rooms and things they want to view of the lake they're on, or the mountains that they can see, or the whatever. So they'll throw these weird windows. You're looking at it from the ground like, all right, so to get that one window, I have to try to get a 32-foot ladder. I have to rope myself off so I can climb the roof or use a billy goat ladder on the roof. Get up there. It's going to look like crap. It's going to take me like 10 minutes to try to get a stupid window. Even once I get up there, not mention everything else. Like, There's a lot of windows. And I always tell my uh, guys, I say, it, um, clean window is not worth your life. So if there's something that you're just not able to do, you just can't do it from the inside. You can't do it from the outside. You just can't do it. Let the customer know. Right? That all changed getting into pure water. Because if I can see a window, I can clean a window with pure water. I don't have to ladder up. 
I don't have to move a ladder. I don't have to worry about how the heck am I going to walk up this super steep pitch. I don't have to worry about getting the ladder there. I don't need to have somebody standing on the back of the ladder. I don't have to do any of that. All I have to do is take three steps to the left. I'm there. I clean it. I go to the next window. Waterfed makes it easier to clean windows and it makes it faster. I don't feel like I wrestled a gorilla because I didn't carry a stinking 32 through a yard. Waterfed is huge. Now people go, well, why is Waterfed an add-on? Isn't that just more of a tool? Yes and no. So Waterfed itself when you have a system, people will be like, whoa, what is that, right? Because they think squeegee, scrubber, all that fun stuff. When you pull out a system, they're like, dude, this guy is like on another level. Look at this thing. That thing's crazy. I've never seen something like that. Absolutely. It's the newest, best technology we have in window cleaning. It's like a mechanic buying a laser frame machine. It doesn't mean that he's somehow a bad mechanic because he uses it. He's a smart mechanic because he uses it, right? The same side is, is now I can clean your frames and glass. I can do a better job on like cut-ups, any windows and things. I'm not leaving streaks or smears or spots. I'm able to offer more to the customer. I can also use it if you're using it for like green technology. There's no soap, right? It gets doesn't get any more pure than pure water. You can use that for your own advertising. No, but you can use it for advertisement. You can show people what it is. It sells new work because they see what you got. It makes it easier. It makes it faster. Just water fit is awesome. Uh, think about getting into it. Anyway, I'll get off that high horse. Uh, and another thing that I want to talk about before we're done is something that I really, really, really love. And I didn't get into it. I got into it right before I sold my company. Uh, so I didn't get into it as much as some of you. But it's residential route. Hear me out. You do a house once, hopefully every quarter, hopefully every six months, maybe once a year, right? If you're doing the dentist rule, uh, hopefully it's every six months. But for the meantime, every house and every home has a couple windows that everybody always looks out. Oh, that's my big front window. You know, all these ones look to the backyard. All these ones are right above the sink. We offer a program called Residential Route. What that is, is you pick, you make the thing up, five windows. Five windows, outside only, done once every two weeks for 20 bucks. People are going, well, okay. So what you're doing is you're keeping yourself relevant. You're keeping yourself in their mind because you're there all the time. They're always seeing your bills and your mails and your stuff, right? Hopefully you have your card on file, you're just charging it. They're always keeping that up so that they can see what it looks like against the other window. So it always keeps them wanting more window cleaning. It helps them out because those are the windows are going to try to do themselves. And when you build a residential route, you're already all over town doing other things. It keeps your truck out there. More people are seeing your truck. More people are seeing your name. You're keeping relevant to them. And then, of course, you're making some money on it. $20 doesn't sound like a lot, but when you're doing that and pa packing that into other pieces the money is there obviously at five windows for 20 bucks you're still charging and you're just doing outs you're just wham, 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 wham. what does it take you five minutes to walk from the truck to do the glass to walk back to the truck five minutes but guess what everybody in that neighborhood saw your truck somebody's paying you to advertise everybody saw your truck this person is incredibly happy when you do go there, they can see what it is. There's so many benefits to residential route other than just making money. And I know people who have, you know, 100 residential customers that are doing their route program also. And that's awesome, right? That's an extra $2,000 if you got $100, $2,000 every two weeks, right? But... Now it just gets you a reason to be in these neighborhoods. And everybody that you drive past, they see your trucks, they always are going to catch your truck at some point. I've even had it. I had a lady, uh, this is maybe a year ago or so, uh, tell me. She owned a company, window cleaning company. She said that because she was doing the residential route that um, somebody had called her because when she drove by, it triggered her their ring bell, their ring camera or whatever was like picked up the car driving. And they saw the logos and everything on the window and they called from that. Just being in the neighborhood got them another customer. 
Everybody's talking about yard signs and everything else. What if somebody paid you to drive through their neighborhood? That's what a residential route is. So if you're looking at things to kind of go and try this year, hopefully you're getting into Waterfit, but hopefully you try residential route, even offer it to them. Hey, we're starting a new program where we keep your five most important windows up every single, you know, two weeks. Every two weeks we're here. We don't call you. You don't need to see us. We don't do anything. If there's screens on those windows, you set them up backwards. You can do everything from the outside. We clean them, keep those ones looking absolutely awesome for you. And you never even have to see us. We're there. You know, we'll leave. I always leave an invoice anyway, just because so they can see we're there. Leave an invoice, leave a card, something, say, hey, you'll know that we're there. We'll leave something. You'll see the windows and they'll always be kept up for you. No matter what is happening outside, inside, events, family over, anything, these windows will always look perfect. And it's 20 bucks. 20 bucks to people is not going to be a lot of money. But something to know. Just like regular route, though, it does lose money um, when you start if you don't have a lot of people in an area. Driving across town to do $20 like it doesn't make sense. But when you compare in certain areas, it does definitely make sense. And it gives you the excuse to be there. So anyway, those are some things that I think are super, super uh, rad. And uh, they're really great services to kind of add on. Uh, if you're still watching, I ask you, other than, of course, getting a subscription to Window Cleaner. Uh, I'm sorry, American Window Cleaner Magazine. Do that because that would be absolutely awesome. Let me put your orders in. Um, my number is 862-312-2026. I am a sales rep. That's This is what I do all day, every day. So let me put your orders in, big or small. And um, check us out on, on TikTok. I'm trying to get that going too. Uh, but it's jersey underscore WCR underscore nation. So jersey WCR nation. Uh, check it out there. But let me put your orders in. Get your magazine subscription. Just be awesome. But more importantly, until next week, go out there and be epic.